guys, we were already rolling, so you got all of that on tape. And okay. just continue, have fun. Yes! Yes, I'm here with a man, Adam Neely, and today we're discussing a very interesting thing. It is a weird looking guitar with very weird looking frets. It is very strange. Uh, it looks like spaghetti got on your guitar. It's a Strandberg with true temperament frets. Yeah, so when I first played this thing uh, the other day, it was kind of crazy because it very much feels like a normal guitar. It just yeah. looks very strange. The thing though is it sounds nothing like a guitar. It sounds very weird. Yeah. And the thing is, if you just close your eyes and someone would give you a guitar, I mean, you feel like it's very light, but if yeah. you just play a chord, I mean, you're like, oh. just, it plays like any other guitar. You don't feel weird, wiggly frets. The thing about true temperament frets is that it, it adjusts for intonation errors on the neck of a regular guitar. Because how they uh, decide where each fret has to go, they do that via math. Yeah, they find the 12th the root of two. two. Yeah, exactly. The 12th yeah. root of two, which is about 1.05 and then some decimals that you can calculate because it's your video and you're going to calculate them and it's yeah. going to fly on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, now I have to do it. Okay, so, but the thing is, that doesn't hold in, uh, into account the string thickness. Right. The tension mm -hmm. of the string. So I believe they just listened very carefully when they played the guitar to how each note was affected and they made this. So if the fret is a little bit more up, the pitch of that note, if you fret it, it sounds a little lower. Yeah. Adam, shall we compare the sounds of this guitar to that one? Let's, let's do it. Let's play an open G chord as first. Okay. okay. Here's mine. Here's mine. I think both sound good. Both sound pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty yeah, similar. pretty similar. Okay, let's do a bar G. A little bit more of a difference, but they yeah. both sound pretty pretty good. There's a little more gnarl to your sound. Yeah, I'm more familiar with this sound to be honest, but I still that didn't sound that weird or strange. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> let's try a different chord. Let's do D. Oh, this sounds pretty weird for a D chord, for a D major. This is, this is what D should sound like. A little bit out. It's a little out, yeah. Yeah. I know that sound. Yeah. That's weird. It's, a, it's not just intonation. It's not a okay. different kind of tuning system. This yeah. is still all equal temperament. It's just we're used to the minor imperfections within equal temperament. Yeah, oh, the, yeah exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> the, the guitar is an imperfect instrument within an imperfect tuning system. That's it, pretty strange. It's really strange and but we're used to it. We're used to the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we play a D over here, but I think when you play higher up the neck with a regular guitar, I think you're more bound to like maybe uh, bend your hand a little bit and or maybe press a little bit weird. Sounds good. Wow. It sounds so clear and so there's no dissonance. Sounds like a guitar. Yeah, <laughs> this sounds like AI guitar. When you take a look at these frets, I'm seeing a big difference, especially here at fret 1. Can we get a zoom in on fret 1? You see fret 3 is way more down than fret 1, uh, than string 1 and 2. A chord we could try, for example, is F. Yeah, you can, you can hear the beating, and the beating is, mm. uh, you know, much more of... Mm -hmm. There's already going to be beating in equal temperament, but especially on the guitar where equal temperament is a little squirrely to begin with. Yeah. Oh. That sounds really weird. I think
think it's the major third interval. Sometimes sounds really strange on that guitar. It doesn't sound well. You're in, you know, you're bending and stuff. I made a video about why didn't John Frusciante tune his guitar. Uh, a lot of people said he said once like, "Hey man, your guitar is out of tune." Oh no problem. I'll bend it in. Yeah. Like I don't even care. I, I just play and you know I work with it. And I think that's a really guitarist thing. Uh, this guitar sounds great. <laughs> okay, should I buy this guitar? Leave your comments in the comment section. Thumbs up for yes. No thumbs down. <laughs> Please. That's Mojo. Yeah. I mean, That was cool. Can you play something? What if uh, it was like an upper register? Like... Oh, I have a great one. That's strange. It feels like I'm also missing some overtones or something. Yeah. Like Before the vibrato, there was still like a beating in there too. How does bending work on a guitar like this? Uh, I don't know. Since I'm not a very good guitar player, I think I'm gonna have to do that magical thing again when we ask someone else to come in. Or uh, oh, no, no. Oh, we're just gonna go like oh oh like I mean, that. Yeah, yeah cool, that cool thing. Okay, bending. So. is fine. I mean, it is a cool guitar. <laughs> it looks so futuristic. It's very light. I mean, oh, the, the Strandberg, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great <clears throat> guitar. Great I mean, guitar. for you, like, for the longest time I thought about getting a bass with your temperament frets because their intonation on bass chords is sometimes very squirrely. Mm, yeah. But after playing this, I'm not sure. It almost starts from a, almost a too sterile place. Like, it, it's strange, but I can definitely see why people might like oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, in certain genres, like maybe metal. Yeah. I mean, this would be probably, like, make a lot of sense. Uh, I think for my own playing, I wouldn't use it. But I totally understand where, where it comes from. I love the innovation. I love how it looks. I'm not sure yeah. if I would enjoy it in the context of music making that I would, I would play. Okay. Because it is... It feels strange. It does. I'm so used <laughs> to the idea of pitch being a warbly thing. I'm not even sure if any of this will get across in the video, too. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's I mean, we so have the amps in the back. It's pretty loud, so we feel the vibrations on our body. That's a huge thing. If you watch this on a smartphone, it's just a tiny speaker. I mean, it would probably make less difference than the way we feel it. Yeah, and especially that beating. We're yeah. definitely feeling that a lot more. Mm, and when yeah. there isn't the beating, it's like... Oh, that's Wait, a very, very good. Yeah, it's just the air pressure moving differently. Yeah. That's very interesting. And because, you know, the sonically it's not that different. It really isn't. But it's just the air air moving in a different way in the room. Yeah. It's strange. It is strange. It's very cool. It's yeah. strange. Anyway, thank you so much for yeah, being on the show. I love your videos. Thank you, man. I love yours. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for watching, guys. And thanks, Stomont, for having us. Uh, it's great. Have a great day. And... Links to Adam are in the description. I'm sure you all know who he is, but check it out. Bye. Bass. Guitar. Bass. <laughs>